The way that you walked in, the way that you smiled No, I couldn't look back, no, no The way that you stood there and flicked your hair No, I couldn't look back, no, no The way that you sat down and held your bag No, I couldn't look back, no, no The way that we met on an outbound train Oh, it left me in despair But I like you cause you're too cute And we made it home alive but I like you cause you're too cute and I really don't want to try So we're on a train coming home from the city Leaving all the lights behind On a train coming home from the city Leaving all the lights behind On a train coming home from the city Leaving all the lights behind On a train coming home from the city Leaving all the lights behind You rise up the dark, it shows you bright spark But I don't know where to start, no You rise up the dark, it shows you bright spark But I don't know where to start, no Move from English to French, it was like the big revenge But left me with no defense But I like you cause you're too cute And we made it home alive But I like you cause you're too cute And I really don't wanna try But I like you cause you're too cute And we made it home alive But I like you cause you're too cute And I really don't wanna So we're on a train, coming home from the city, leaving all the lights behind. On a train, coming home from the city, leaving all the lights behind. On a train, coming home from the city, leaving all the lights behind. On a train, coming home from the city, leaving all the lights behind. Leaving all the lights behind. Leaving all the lights behind So on a train Thank you very much. Wow, Oscar, that was really good. Can you please come over here for a quick interview? Thank you, Oli. So, how are you? I'm um, very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Good. So, what's the story behind that song? Uh, so, I was coming back from London one day, and uh, I was on a train with my mum and my sister. And there was this guy sitting across from me, and this drunk guy um, came rampa rampa rampaging down the train. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I need a seat. And he was looking for our seat, because he knew the guy who was going to move. So uh, my mum my mom and I asked the, asked the guy who was sitting in front of us to um, move. So he blocked the drunk guy. And so this girl sat down, which was called India. And um, we were having a chat with her, and she was very nice. And so I got off the train. Obviously, she thought she was really, really, really hot. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I got her social media, and we were, we were talking, and got off yeah. the same, same stage. And, and that was really it. And just, that was it, really. So you're still in touch now? Yeah, 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 yeah sparsely. But yeah, okay. So how long does it usually take you to write songs? Uh, it varies. Um, so my first song, Through the Fields, I think a few of you know, it kind of took me, helps a five-minute song. That <laughs> it didn't take long. Um, and then I adapted it. But on a train took, I don't know, about an hour, two hours. And then you spend, you spend a quite a lot of time just adapting it and making the chords right and make sure it sounds... It sounds good. So do you find that process difficult or quite fun? It's, um, it's quite a... It depends. Lots of songs... It, it's, a sl it's a quick process to get the words down and get the chords down, but then to develop is a... It's a, it's a you have to do gigs, you have to play with them. You can't just sit in your bedroom and play them because they don't, they don't develop otherwise. So how many songs have you written? Um, ones that I could just play right to you right now, probably about 30 to 35, and then ones that a kind of half half written and bits and bobs prob almost about probably about 80 
So, okay. <laughs> so when did you write your first song? Uh, it was about two years ago, uh, just, just before we broke up for summer, about two years ago. And uh, I was just about to go into a studio and I was like, oh, I don't have any songs to play and I don't want to do a cover. So I decided to kind of just play a song and I hope this song I still play today. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good song. And when did you start to play the guitar? Um, about two or three weeks before that, I started picking up the guitar and then there was the piano that I was like, oh, this is, this is too big, you can't carry yeah. it with you everywhere. So I was like, this is on the guitar. <laughs> so it was the guitar kind of natural to you? Yeah, just, I just picked it up. I, I guess I played violin for five years. And, no, and so it kind of, yeah, I guess a little bit and bass. So why did you want to start singing and playing guitar? Um, I, was, I did a competition, um, the uh, youth battle, battle the bands, the youth one, uh, uh, when I was year five or six. And I, and I was playing with a backing track, and I just, you know, it wasn't, wasn't great. Uh, the backing track was unreliable, you had to use the aux cable. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna learn the guitar, I'm gonna be able to back up myself. And now I'm up there for yeah. uh, Glastonbury Festival and Godney Gathering, yeah. and just for learning the guitar and singing. <laughs> it's a great thing. So you've come far then. Yeah. <laughs> from, yeah, from there. So who are your musical inspirations? So I have a few. Um, my first one was, um, I have Jamie Cullum, he's a massive inspiration for me. The, 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 his music is just is incredible. And then Nigel Kennedy is m uh, my, my biggest inspiration. Um, from when I was about five years old, I watched him at the um, Glastonbury Extravaganza yeah. with my mum, and I begged her for four months for me to play the violin. Yeah. And she said, no, 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 no. And eventually, she let me play the violin for five years, and I passed my grade one <laughs> <laughs> after five years, which yeah. uh, <laughs> wasn't a great achievement. It was a merit, though, so there we go. I, I did something. <laughs> Will you be releasing any new music soon? Uh, yeah, I've just come out of the studio. I have one more day in the studio on Tuesday to mix, finish mixing the song called Pieces, which is a live version that I did in there yeah. on, my, um, on my YouTube. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm releasing Pieces probably around the 11th of March, something like that, that time. And could we see a debut album for Oscar Zaki? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's happening, it's, it's oh, close. It's, it's, it's on the way. Half an EP ready and then... Yeah. yeah. So have you got any upcoming gigs? Uh, yeah, tomorrow actually, I'm playing at Wells Gin Festival. I think I start about 8 o'clock okay. and 8 to about 10. So. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming. It's thank been you. a pleasure talking to you. It's been great to play. Thank you very much.